Ready now in stores. It is the drug that treats hypoactive sexual desire disorder for women. Joining us right now is the co-founder and CEO of Sprout Pharmaceuticals, Cindy Whitehead. Cindy, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining Thanks us. For having me. So, I mean, this has been a long road getting Addy out there. You had two rejections by the FDA, right? What happened? to change the game here to get this out and get the approval by the FDA? A lot of new science. So the FDA, every time they asked us to go back and do the work, we did the work. And I think we characterized adequately, adequately both the benefits and the risk. So today, finally, women can make the decision for themselves with their health care providers for women's most common sexual dysfunction. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting that there are 26, look at this, 26 FDA-approved treatment options for men se sexual dysfunction. <laughs> That's right. And I this have, is the first I have one. more issues than that. And no, <laughs> you've never gotten any but samples this is the on the only show, one for and, and listen, but no and, samples. And really, 17 years as well since the game changer, really, for men, which was Viagra. Yeah. Um, so 17 years, and here we are finally today uh, with one for women where, you know, they can go to a pharmacy it's right down the street hard. here and get so their So it's Addy. the first one? It is the first, the first for women's most common sexual dysfunction, which is called hypoactive sexual desire disorder, uh, which in essence is a lack of interest in having sex mm. that's causing distress and isn't accounted for by something else. It's not a relationship issue. Yeah. It's not no time, no energy, no privacy. So what right? is that's it? That's normal. Um, it's a medical condition that we've known about yeah. actually since 1977. Huh. Um, and it affects uh, about one in 10 women, between seven and 10% of women. That's a lot. Um, a lot of women are affected by this and really they're profound profoundly distressed. Mm. Uh, this is causing issues for them personally and in their relationships. Mm. Let, let me ask you about the Valiant acquisition and sort of what that did for yeah. you, yeah. because you've got a lot more marketing muscle, a lot yeah, more was, oomph behind this yeah. product now. What kind of a game changer was that for you? Game changer. We are a 34 person company who managed wow. to get this across the finish line. <laughs> right? So this is the ability to make good on the mission, right? Not only can we now step across the globe and do this for women who also need access to this treatment but they've allowed us to do it in a very affordable way so thanks to the resources of Valiant uh, we're actually going to offer Addy for as little as twenty dollars per prescription uh, that's twenty dollars is less than half the cost of a single pill of Viagra I'm that's very a big proud deal. of that uh, that was always this was always about getting it right for women from the outset and to be able to do that is really thanks to that you partnership. You think there's a cultural Valiant. issue though between men and women it seems like men are more willing to abide by these drugs or at least try these drugs? Or I, I was going to add on to that, yeah. right? I mean, it seems like maybe there's a bit of an education that needs to happen along with this because yeah. you mentioned that it's a condition that impacts one in ten women, sure. but how many women do actually know that that's what they yeah. need? So, so yeah. every day this conversation is happening behind the closed doors of OBGYN offices or even primary care physicians. So I think women are clear, but no question it requires education. And I'll tell you the first thing it requires. We are not female Viagra, right? <laughs> it's not how we work. And in fact, women are not on-demand creatures. I think women are quite clear about that, uh, but that is the catchphrase, I think, that has surrounded us. In fact, it works very differently for women. It's not a blood flow issue. It's a brain chemistry issue. So we're taking once daily at bedtime. That's going to be part of it. Out of the gate, now through end of the year, it's about getting both healthcare providers and pharmacies educated to deliver that good information So it's a daily? Is it, it, it's a daily it's, drug. It's, it's, so let me kind of frame this up. It's not a blue pill. What color is it? It is a pink pill. It's a pink pill? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pink pill. It's the little pill. It's daily. It cool. is daily. Yep. You take it once a day at bedtime, and really it is about restoring some of the sexual center of nice. the brain. So it's not about like Viagra, like on demand. Correct. Yeah, Women yeah. are not on demand. <laughs> yeah, that's um, a really good analysis the way yeah. you say it. That's sure. right. Because it I think this sounds like a great thing. holiday gift. <laughs> <laughs> I think he it just sounds like your a point. breakthrough for women. <laughs> he, he just proved your <laughs> point on demand. I'm trying to market this thing. This is good. Cindy, good to have you on the show. Thanks, Thanks so much. Congratulations on this uh, very important product uh, out in stores now. Cindy Whitehead.